Uh, my boots are on the way, so I'm wearing sneakers, which, as you can see, are completely wet because it's wet. And I'm not happy. I hate getting wet. I'd not buy a bike to get wet, but I did. You know, I'm wet. Uh, boots, as last video, were taken in water, so they're off warranty. The shop where I got it from, Outlet Moto. I'm just plugging them because they are very nice guys. They send a courier to my house at their expense to pick up the boots for warranty. That service, okay. First time I bought something from them was a helmet to my wife, and I think it was a motorcycle cover and a lock or something. Uh, the helmet, my, my wife didn't like the helmet. Uh, I, I had already removed the tags from the helmet. Uh, actually, the tags fell off when, I, when my wife was trying, was trying them. She ripped the tags off accidentally. Um, and I emailed them saying, uh, Can I exchange the helmet? It's a tad too big. So yes, the tags fell off. And they said, No, just put the tags on and don't worry, we'll pick it up. Uh, I said I wanted to exchange the helmet. They said, Okay, just choose the new helmet and we'll exchange them. And they did. The, the courier came, uh, came up, took delivered a new helmet and took the old one back which was awesome I did not have to pay anything in fact the courier at the first did not want to take back the helmet because he didn't have a document saying that he was going to pick up a helmet I emailed him the next day the courier was there to pick up the helmet again if I wanted I could have got stayed with both helmets and that was that was it no they, they work on a based on trust it's a small shop that works based on trust, so they're, they're really they're really cool. I really like them. The other guys, which I bought the helmet from, which is fcmoto.de, are incompetent surats. I should have them all wiping the noses of Sipco brats, not commanding, uh, not selling helmets. It's retarded, really. I'm going to tell you the whole story. So I got the helmet, no problem. The helmet has a defect. Okay, that's not, not a problem with the shop. That happens. I email them saying that the helmet has a defect, what the defect is, it's in the picture of it, and they answer with, oh, sorry, you don't st sell spare parts for the helmet. Uh, okay, so they're German. They Maybe they mis misunderstood my English. I was probably not very clear. So I sent another email saying, no, 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 I want to return the helmet. Oh, you want to return the helmet? Okay, then you you send the helmet back to us. Also, no problem. So far, so good. What I did not enjoy was spending a ton of money to send the helmet back, but, well, that's life, I guess. And so I send the helmet. And then the problems begin. Problem number one. I'm tracking the, the package, and I see the package was failed to deliver. What? Fail to deliver at a shop that's open during daytime? What the hell? The next day, fail to deliver again. Now I'm getting worried. So I send them an email saying, and showing the, the statement from the, the courier, uh, showing, see guys, uh, this has been failed to deliver twice. I hope that does not get delivered back to me. Okay? And that very day, that was Valentine's Day, it got delivered, finally. Cool. So it's there. So I send them an email on Valentine's Day saying, okay, I see the helmet has been delivered to you. Please tell me if it's okay and keep me updated on the warranty case. No answer. Not Monday, not next Tuesday, next Wednesday, I send them another email saying, uh, guys, I'd like an update, verifying that you have the helmet, uh, whether it, when you send it to AGV and the status of the, of the case. Another two days pass. Okay, the first two days, oh, yeah, it's normal. A couple of days to answer an email. Cool. But then there's a there's a whole week and I'm starting to get frustrated. So I send another more strongly worded email saying, guys, it's been a week. What happened to my helmet? Nothing. The next week I send an email every day. Nothing. The third week I start sending one email and one web page contact every day. Nothing. So after three weeks, I'm frustrated, and I go and post on their Facebook page, on AGV Italy's Facebook page, on AGV's uh, unofficial Facebook page. I send them three emails, three contacts, and they finally get back at me. 
and their answer is something along the lines of uh, can you tell me again your no can you send me a picture no can you resend me the package number because you can't find your helmet what what the fuck I actually answered this is this a joke Seriously, and then I went on with it. I sent them obviously the information they wanted, the, the package number, and they said, "Oh, can you please send a picture of the the invoice again?" I said, "Oh, for fuck, crying out loud!" And I send that, and then they go, "Oh, which carrier did you use?" So I send them. Oh, this was just the local postal office, and I sent them the tracking thing. Told them at what day and what time it got there. Jesus fucking Christ, these guys are fucking incompetent. How the fuck can you lose a customer's helmet? Fuck. Okay, so did not they eventually they answered and they did not actually lose it. At least that's what they told me, okay? They told me it's already been sent. That makes sense because if it's already been sent, the poor guy treating my very furious he email uh could not find the helmet because it was not there uh, anymore so that makes sense uh what doesn't make sense is that they don't have something something of a file or something about a helmet a note a post-it something uh so they sent it the they told me they already sent it to italy to italy or to agv i don't know goes all the way to italy or not it's more like it'll be sent all the way to fucking china or something so yeah, I got no helmet, I got no boots. And at the rate this is going, I'm not going to have a helmet for a very long time. So Epsimoto did just lose a customer forever. I'm not going to buy another helmet from a company that if I return it, I don't they don't know where the fuck it is. I really am not going to. Seriously. I'm not going to buy anything from them actually. Because if anything has a warranty problem, I don't want to deal with it. Seriously. Imagine if my boots were there, were bought there. I'd be fucked. I'd be without boots for like a year. At least these guys, the first they're from Spain, so it takes one whole day to get stuff here. I buy stuff in the next day. I, I bought one thing once at 9 in the, in, at the night, and the next day, 10 a.m., it was at my doorstep. I don't know how the fuck they did that, but they did that. Okay, if they work well. The other guys, which are huge at shop, I get the feeling it's like a two-man operation running out of a basement or something. Jesus Christ! Never again. <coughs> so yeah, you're warned about these two particular shops. One's good, one's not. Uh, this is a huge ass vlog, so I'm going to try to break this up into tiny bits. And that's it. Okay, you're out.